If you have Medicare as your main coverage, you are then allowed to receive medical care from any medical provider in the United States that accepts Medicare. If you have a Medicare supplement policy that acts as a secondary to your Medicare, then as long as the provider you're receiving care from does accept Medicare, then your Medicare supplement plan will also be accepted. So that is the first thing to consider. What type of insurance is the best in the situations that we're talking about? And if you have the option, you want to get a Medicare supplement policy. Another common question that comes up in this situation is if you have two different residences or you are moving around from multiple locations uh, throughout the year, what is considered the address that you list for your policy. What is considered your home state? The information regarding this is fairly clear in the contract that you sign, which is stipulated by Medicare as your home address is considered the state in which you vote and pay taxes. So it doesn't matter how long you spend in a particular area. So for example, you, maybe you live, um, you know, four months of the year in Indiana. You live eight months of the year in Florida. That part of the situation doesn't matter. What matters is where you have yourself listed as paying taxes and voting. So that is considered your home state and that will affect, in some cases, the cost of your coverage.